Monster walks are a great exercise to work the lateral hip, the side of the hip, the side of the core, and get us really focused on our sort of ready hips back, hip dominant position. So we can sway either side, cut and get low on either side. This, is, this one's about grooving those side stabilizers of the hips and pelvis. Often if the low back feels discomfort one-sided, it might be an issue with your lateral kinetic chain with that pelvis being off. Often we think of pelvic levels being up and down. So a lot of times these muscles are slightly imbalanced for a number of reasons, not the least of which is possible injury history or stress that you put through your pelvis and back. So let's see these monster walks. Once again, that starting position, you can think about being ready like it would be like a short stop type ready position, straight back, little hinge at the hip and a softening of the knees. From here, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing what are called monster walks. They're big side to side strides by keeping low and keeping that pelvis super flat. By not allowing that pelvis to come up and staying low, with these, you're gonna to want to sort of tilt your legs and tilt your pelvis as you walk. You wanna stay low and you wanna feel like you're sliding side to side with all hip motion, spine, back, core, everything's nice and tight, really getting out. That's a good exercise without a mini band or low, to stand up, get low and get deep to the side, practice stabilizing your pelvis in full ranges. Your, your core should be square, you shouldn't be tilting the tower. Your sp spine should always be straight up and down with no tilting. Pay attention to it, look at it in a mirror. Once you've got the form down, we go mini band and we go around little toes. So around the baby toes, if we get the feet involved, then we require a lot more rotation, a lot more functional hip motion. If we just put this at the knees or the ankles, we don't need to work as hard through that lever that's our foot to keep square. So from here, we're getting low again, and now same thing, but I'm feeling this huge burn in the side of my pelvis. If you see my hands, you wanna keep them flat and you gotta keep your hips back. If I'm looking down over my toes, I should see my whole toe. I shouldn't have my knees creeping forward and me standing up and me trying to kind of fight with the band. Everything's back, kind of like I'm sticking my butt back, mooning somebody or sit searching for a toilet. Now we're here, we're that short stop ready, and now we stay. We stay low, we go side to side, we explore as far as we can go without feeling like we have to tilt our back and pelvis to get there. Those are monster walks. Lots for the knees, lots for the hips there. That's a really weak chain. Give them a try.